Well, it's likely the forecast most of us probably wanted. The most famous groundhog in the world, Punxsutawney Phil, did not see his shadow this morning, and that means we should be in store for an early spring. But Lindsay, here in North Carolina, two groundhogs disagreed. Tater and Yammy at the <laughs> Chimney Rock State Park both saw their shadows. They also made their Super Bowl predictions. Tater went with the Chiefs, Yammy went with the 49ers. I am with Tater. Go Chiefs. For a different reason, probably. <laughs> go Chiefs and go Taylor, right? I knew it. And while Groundhog Day is a fun tradition, we know there's no real science behind these predictions. But there are some signs that Phil may be on to something this year. Meteorologist Dylan Hudler explains. It's Groundhog Day and Puxatawney Phil did not see his shadow this morning. Up in Pennsylvania, they had the clouds overhead and even some snow showers in the area. So if he did see his shadow, uh, I would be concerned, but he didn't. And that means we have an early spring on the way. Now spring officially begins March 19th, and that is 46 days away from now. Around that time of year, we average highs here in the Carolinas in the low 60s. So what does that mean going forward? Where uh, I think I think Phil's on to something here. Uh, after a brief cool down this weekend, it does look like a ridge of high pressure builds in by the uh, latter half of next week and into the middle of February, bringing above average temperatures and a spring like feel to the air. Historically, Phil doesn't do a very good job at forecasting the weather. He's only about 39% accurate, uh, but there are some signs that warmer, more mild air is on the way by late next week may start to feel a little bit more like spring. Of course, we'll keep you updated on the forecast. Uh, we're not totally ready to write off winter, uh, but we do have some milder air on the way.